Today I was going to talk about a fun way to practice scales that will really help integrate the scales into your playing. Basically, it's still a linear practice, ascending and descending by a diatonic step within the scale. But instead of going from the root to root, you just go from different starting points, say third to third or fifth to fifth, seventh to seventh. And always starting with the descending version of the scale, this also helps. In this exercise, I use the altered scale as an example, which is the seventh mode of melodic minor. It outlines a dominant seventh chord with a flat nine, sharp nine, sharp 11, and sharp five, and then also includes the root major third and flat seven, the shell of the dominant seven sound. So in this exercise, I'll play this altered scale around the circle of fourths, descending from third to third, and then ascending from third to third, then descending from sharp five to sharp five, or flat seven to flat seven, sharp 11 to sharp 11. And all these different starting points will really help you understand the scale. Thank you. 
I'd recommend doing this with all your scale types, uh, modes of melodic minor, harmonic minor, harmonic major, uh, diminished, whole tone, augmented, any scale that you think is relevant for your artistic development that you want to have a better grasp of. And of course, there's a multitude of patterns you could work on as well through these scales, but having a strong linear grasp starting on any note and going in any direction is very valuable. And it's arguably the easiest way to hear the scale at the onset because it's stepwise motion, easier to sing and hear than more intervallic ideas. All right, I hope you found that interesting and helpful, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.